It's a beautiful day to be a Raider. Draped in the silver and black. I represent the shield. I represent the swords. It's that time of night again, Raider Nation. And you come back. Why? Because you know it's time. It's time to break now. What's up, Raider Nation? I'm the Commish, coming to you live from Hardcore Channels Live Studios. Deep behind the enemy line. This is Raider Reaction. What is up, Raider Nation? It's a hump day on a short week, and uh, I'm staring in the eye of a big-ass hurricane bearing down upon us. Yes! Isn't that exciting stuff? So that's what we're dealing with in Hardcore Challenge Live Studios right now. So how's your evening? Are you driving around looking for water and batteries? Because that's what I did all freaking night. Ain't that good times. <laughs> it's nothing like standing in the path of a freight train named Irma. <laughs> Seriously. So, every prize packs are sitting on the table, jukebox, ready to go out. <laughs> I apologize you have not been out, but I have been running around getting water and supplies pretty much the last two nights. So, but I packaged them up Monday. They're sitting there ready to go out. I actually have my trophy ready to go out for um, my fancy football league to get sent to our reigning champion for the season. And yeah, so they'll be out in the next day or two. I'll let you know as soon as they go, but we are in full on hurricane prep mode right here, right now. So bear with me a minute. <laughs> but it is out there packaged up and ready to go and lines was our big winner he's got the double doubler sitting there ready to go as well yes Raider Popeye our Raider reaction on the scene is gonna be at week one so hopefully hopefully you know I, I don't ask him to be you know cuz he's kinda shy he's our behind the scenes guy you know so I don't want you know but maybe he can like give us some live video without him on it <laughs> what's up T Raider T in the house see you back getting some getting some FaceTime I don't know about that hat man I just I just ain't feeling it I like the way it looks but it's just not the most comfortable when it's on I don't know I'm just not feeling it cuz it's sweet now when you see it this badass hat, man. It's even got the sewn on patch, trucker style. But it's just, you know how hats are. You get them, and sometimes they're just like, eh, it looks cool. But I don't know. I feel somewhat fuddish when I'm wearing it. So, I don't know. I gotta, gotta, gotta go back to old reliable. I'd be cool. It'd be cool, Papa. I just get some footage for the, uh, just get some footage for the, uh, now. You know how we do it every Monday and Wednesday on Ghost of the Post. We drop back deep in the pocket and let it fly league-wide. We touch on all the hot league topics. Because there are 31 enemies, and you've got to be educated. There's fancy football implications, and you got to know your enemy and who you're going to play week to week. What What's shaking down in the other divisions, who the possible playoff rivals are going to be. you got you got to be an educated fan for smack talk. Fantasy football, you gotta be educated. So you gotta know what's going on. So, every Monday and Wednesday on Raider Reaction, the Raider Reaction resident sports guru joins me and puts a, a wider perspective, set of eyes on the subjects that we break down on Mondays and Wednesdays. Because I look at everything from a silver and black perspective. And Prime brings a much more league-wide perspective. Now, Prime has been a ring announcer for professional MMA and as well as professional soccer, play-by-play -play and color commentary 
for college basketball and college football and the reigning vice president of the Hardcore Challenge, as well as Thank you. every Monday and Wednesday to break down all the league news. What's up, Brian? What's going on, Kamish? You know what we have going on tomorrow? Real live football. Meaningful football. The scores count. The scores are for real. Yes, and I don't know who I want to win. It's the Patriots and the Chiefs. The Cheatriots. Yeah. And the <laughs> I just want to see some people hit some people. I want to see some deep balls thrown, so I guess I won't be looking at Alex Smith. He's another no. check down, Charlie. Check down. Check down. Check down. <laughs> Tight right. end, running back. Yep. All Tom way. Brady. The stupid Patriots. So, yeah, he's got a few. He's he's had some issues up there. They had a wide receiver go down for the season. Uh, Edelman. Edelman's gone. You yeah, know? he's gone. So, I mean. It's. It's a tough one. This is one of those games where I want absolutely want them both to lose equally as bad. So I don't know. You know, I don't know how this works out because I hate them both really, really badly. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna kid you. If both teams took the field and managed to blow up, I'd be all right about it. <laughs> <laughs> just the field you know? implodes and they just they're gone. <laughs> all of them. Alex, nah. Smith, the big fat walrus, Brady, all of them in the hole. Nah, that's jokes, man. That's just jokes I right know, there. It's just jokes. They can just but sit in the hole for a day or two. <laughs> truth of the matter is, is that we need all 32 teams to help create the greatness that is professional football in America. Yes. The greatness. It does. <laughs> as much as I, I hate them, it would be pretty pathetically if we were just as one team, you know, out there on the field. You know, you got to have somebody to play. You got to have somebody to hate. That's what makes football football. And hey, that's what makes football football. <laughs> yep, and it all comes back tomorrow, starting with, yeah, the Chiefs and the Patriots. So, I don't know. I'm looking forward to a long Sunday of watching as much football as I can and checking my fantasy score because I'm crazy like that. I only have three teams this year. Only three teams this year. Oh, no, right. just one. I've I've dialed it back and I I dedicate I dedicate too much time to everything else. I just I got the one team. I put it all in that one team. It's all or nothing. I just have too much to give just one team. You know, if I gave one team, oh my gosh, I I can only pour over, you know, possible trades and and waiver wire for so long in one league. I mean, <laughs> I need a couple of teams to satisfy me. Hard. Hard. <laughs> I do, I do, I do entirely too much already with my time. I just, and the one league is, well, you know, I mean, Jesus, I govern the league too, and I do webcasts for it and everything. So it's a, uh, or it takes my yeah. time. So I don't have time for another team. I just focus on you, that one. And, you are the king of webcasts now. You are definitely the king of webcasts. <laughs> I'm, I'm something. I don't know what the hell I am, but I'm something. Ah. <laughs> so, well, um. <laughs> We Let's do get have some NFL news. news. That's not that's yeah, some real news. It's not me. Uh, yeah. Kaepernick <laughs> or is me. in the news again. A funny story. Kaepernick is in the news again. So, would you like to share some details on this crime? Oh, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. So, apparently, the owner of the Ravens and Ray Lewis are, are tight. They're friends, you know. The owner listens to Ray. He's got some words of wisdom or something like that. Ten leagues. All right. Ten leagues. But, uh, Ray Wright or, or Ray Gary's Lewis. That guy been like, I'm a champion. Well, hell yeah, you're a champion because you're in 10 freaking leagues. You're going to win one of them. <laughs> I got 13 championships. Like, I'm a champion every year. No. <laughs> Terry. 10 leagues. Good lord. Ten leagues. That's like a second so. job, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Got no free time. Uh, All right. He's like, so Ray Lewis have, goes to the owner of the Ravens. The next couple months, I'm going to have to get back to you. Yeah. Phone's turning yeah. off. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you in February. Yeah. Good God, man. 
I don't know. I couldn't keep up with that. Wow. Oh, I had five. I wonder year. how you was... did at the end of the season. Because if you made the playoffs in all freaking ten, you're a you're a freaking animal. <laughs> you are. I give you official, you know, props for sure. Something. Yeah, you you make the playoffs in all ten leagues. I hope I hope you're betting. I hope you're betting a lot of money. So oh, yeah. Hope you win big. Well, good luck to you, Terry. What's up with Max knee injury? Well. I think it, it's, he's got a little tenderness in the knee. I think it's more precautionary that he set out. I don't think it's a big let's freak out because Mac didn't practice fully. It's Khalil Mac. They're, they're going to be real easy with him. <laughs> you know? So. It's the best thing you got on your defense there. Without him, you guys might just be a bunch of bums. I'm just saying. Our defense has looked suspect. I'm not going to lie. I will tell you. Well, the truth. dude, like your defensive backs have been shredded. Have been shredded. Yes, I'm aware. So, boy, and your defensive ends have been suspended forever. What's up, <laughs> but anyway, Mike, Andy, Hadil, anyway. all the normal fan of Pirates. Thank you all for joining us. This is Prime. I'm the Commish. This is Ghost to the Post. With yeah. <laughs> but no, man, the Raiders, they got a that, – that's some news right there. I tell you what, they're looking real good on offense. If you can get anything close to the uh, 2015 um, uh, beast mode, then you guys will be really good. You guys might be really, really good. But if your defense is like the Saints of the 80s or something like that, then I'll tell you what, boy. Bro, here's the – I, I do um, – I'm pretty sure you know you know about the Black Friday that we do every week, um, which yeah. is we have, we have the old games. Now, last – um, the last vintage game that we did, we did the 2002 AFC Championship game. Last Friday, we did the first half of it. Now, we're going to do the second half on Friday. Even the people watching it were like, oh, my God, look at this defense. This, our defense looks nothing – like that defense, and that wasn't even a stellar caliber defense. So I am talking about that defense with like Howie Long. No, no, defense with like Romanowski and uh, Woodson uh, and uh, Rob. Oh, Woodson. in the nineties. Although they were a good defense and a really, For really early two thousand. Two thousand two, when they lost to the Super Bowl to the yeah, game. Bucks. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Ooh. But all it, right, but you won not, some too. You're a storied franchise, and I appreciate that about you. I, now, I, I start. It started to get me concerned a little more about. I know. Our defense Remember the Ravens story. I, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh no 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 no. Go ahead. No, we're good. Go ahead. It went for all right. So <laughs> let's get back to it. So um, now so Ray Lewis is talking to the owner of the Ravens, and he says, let's bring in Colin Kaepernick. He could really help the team. Joe Flacco still had the back thing going on, and they brought in that, like, D-leaguer or whatever. And uh, next thing you know, Colin Kaepernick, he's there. He's talking to the owner. He's talking to Ray Lewis. You know, they just wanted to see where his head was at, see um, maybe if he still wanted to play football because he hasn't said a lot publicly. Now, next thing you know, Kaepernick's girlfriend – Hops on Twitter, and she posts a picture. And I don't know if you've seen Django Unchained, but yes. there's a – it's a picture of um, – oh, what's his – well, first there's Jamie Foxx, of course, and Leonardo DiCaprio. Is that who it is? Anyway, I'm not good with these actor people. They need pads and helmets and whatnot, and then I would <laughs> know who they were. Anyway, numbers. Um, numbers and names. <laughs> yeah, numbers. Name on the back. All right. No, but um, apparently his girlfriend posted a picture of the of the uh, of the uh, what you would call it uh, the slave owner basically from Django Unchained, Leonardo DiCaprio. They had a picture of him with the owner of uh, of the Ravens, uh, the their owner's face. Okay, and on the other face they had Ray Lewis looking like a slave. So it was really? this whole big thing. Slave and master, 
Yeah, and the master probably, being portrayed as the owner of the Ravens and Ray Lewis being portrayed as Django, you know. So they saw that, and all the, the whole discussion went down the tubes. The whole discussion at the end. Now, Colin Kaepernick obviously is not now with the Ravens. So I don't know, man. I, I might be really mad at my girlfriend if that happened to me. Yeah, if I, I was, yeah. you know, like, what the, the hell team, are you doing? You knew I was going yeah. to do a job interview. <laughs> right. She just ruined his job interview. So, I don't know. I don't know. Apparently, Ray Lewis said everything in it. Uh, said everything. He, he talked about that in, like, an inside the NFL. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, you, I kind of wondered what had happened there. And that, that's an interesting little nugget there. That's, that's, that's... Right. <laughs> That's terrible. I mean, My God. And see, the I, thing I is, agree, Glenn. Good Lord. I mean. But at the same time, and then uh, 31 other teams all see that, you know? So it's no longer a wonder as to why he's not employed. You know, it's not like his girl put that thing on Twitter and only the Ravens saw it. No. All the rest of the teams did too. He's not going to get a job because he's – Man, I don't know if it's him or his woman. There's actually rumors. I don't usually get this deep into their lives because I don't really care. But there are rumors. <laughs> oh, you care. You care. <laughs> there are rumors about his girl, about, um, uh, yeah, his girlfriend, Kaepernick's girlfriend, being the inspiration behind sort of a lot of the, the uh, pro thing he's got going on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. So. All right. So, I guess segueing off of Mr. Kaepernick, because he had a stand. He had a stand. That's why he didn't stand. And part of his stand was, did you see the video or did you at least hear the story about uh, Michael Bennett and what happened to Michael Bennett after the Mayweather and uh, McGregor fight? I did hear the story. I've not Supposedly. seen the video. Supposedly. And I did see the video, but I did not see the entire video of, like, everything that happened leading up to the part of the video that I did see. Uh, but I did see the video of them, you know, like, knee in the back, holding him on the ground. And it looked like, it looked excessive from what I'd seen. Now, the story yeah, I, I heard was he ran from shots, black guy running, shots fired. They took him to the ground. <laughs> Some of it was caught on tape. That's basically the gist of the story they're trying to paint. So, whether I know that's true or not, that's what the video looked like to me. So, what thoughts on that? Well, I mean, <laughs> um, my thoughts are a little bit, you know, I mean, they go beyond sports when, it, when we get into stuff like that. Kamish? You know, well, it's, yeah. it's, it's a, it's a funny world we live in. This country of ours is definitely special. And there are some things that there's a real ugly side to this country. And I try to not look at it, but the fact of the matter is, is there's Me too. <laughs> differences in the way people are treated because of stereotypes and prejudice. Not everyone is treated equally and it sucks like i don't know i don't know i don't want to get too far into it man because no. like no we don't need to go down that road. This, this is happening this is why yeah, colin kaepernick up we first, down. They pick it up the first we time down. <laughs> the first time colin kaepernick actually kneeled was because of this was because of this because black males are are not treated right in America, <laughs> and like, <laughs> gosh, it's it's it. But it's a, it's a terrible topic, you know. It, yeah, it really is. is. Yeah, there's you know, a... there's a you know, there's institutions and there's people. I mean, there's been you know, I like to think you know the most of people, and we've made progress and stuff, you know. But I mean, 
Ah, uh, gosh, dude. I mean, I don't know what Michael Bennett did, but I imagine it didn't warrant the kind of treatment that he received, man. He shouldn't have been thrown to the ground. He shouldn't have had a knee in his back. He, his, his breathing should not have been, you know, impaired. Like, no, nah. I, I mean, I, I agree. And, I mean, I've, I've personally had it happen to me. And, you know, for a simple traffic infraction, I've had things happen to me, too. It's just, I, I don't get it sometimes. It's the excessive use of force against a, just a law-abiding citizen who happened to be in a spot when something happened, you know. Yeah. yeah. But it was an interesting. And the funny thing and is, and, and, and we got it, got it on video. Was, yeah. And we got it on video. And it's like, this isn't even new. This isn't even new. It's not like this just happened recently. I mean, how many years ago was Rodney King when when the cops just beat the hell out of him on the highway? Like, they didn't even care, but they got it on video. Those L.A. cops, man. Like, 1965, they had Watts, you know, rioted. Why? Because police brutality is far from yeah. cool, man. No, yeah, it's not. No, nobody, nobody's cool with that. Nobody's cool with that. That's for sure. So, but, yeah. So, all right, let's let's steer back towards some football because we got we got way off the we got way off our normal normal path there. But sometimes yeah. football intersects life, man. That's just sometimes that's the way it is. Sometimes, sometimes, and by God, if it does, we're gonna have to freaking talk about it because you know, even un- uncomfortable conversations. On right, <laughs> getting real. We're getting real. Just got real. He's prime. I'm the commish. Let's go to the post. <laughs> and stick around. In about five to six minutes, Prime's going to bring you the prime cut as he does every Wednesday. So, stick around. It's sports related. But, um, all right. But, all right. Like we said, we touched yeah, on Brown it. people. Uh, brown people, black people. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> My tattooed people, absolutely. Oh my! <laughs> mm. So, so have you heard about Ezekiel Elliott? Ezekiel Elliott, man, the suspension was upheld, but he's gonna play game one. Week one. Who? He gets to play. Game, he gets to play week one. For that. I mean, come on. Right? No, I don't even know. I mean, they had a special arbitration, and it was in Dallas and everything, man. And still, he could, uh, he's going to serve six games so far. He's going to stay with six games. But uh, somehow, because yeah, of the, the, to play the timing of the meeting, uh, the timing of the meeting somehow make it so he gets to play week one. I, I, yeah, I don't get it. I yeah. How do you, how are you suspended? Your suspension's upheld. How about you play this one game? It's just this game. I, I don't know. And it's a division game against the team that's probably going to beat you out, possibly. And I mean, so it's an important game. You can have them for just that game. What kind of garbage is that? That's it's ridiculous. Oh yeah, is there game one against the Giants? Yes. Yeah, we. It's ridiculous. What? How can you be suspended six games and then you get to play the first week, and then you're going to sit out the next six? It's the timing. So he'll be out till like week eight because they've got a bye week in there. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I was I was shocked to hear that. I, I just thought that was rather odd. It is rather odd, but you know what? It's like the NFL always wins. All these players always try to do this stuff, all these appeals, and they try to take it through the system. And, you know, the NFL always wins. Roger Goodell always wins. Did yeah. Tom Brady serve his four games? Yes, he did. He's yes, he God. Did. <laughs> he's, he's football God. I say El Presidente. <laughs> I don't know. He's damn near God in the NFL. <laughs> 
I'm not to be sacrilegious or anything. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I get all butter, yeah. but I'm just talking about the NFL. Whoa. He is kind Whoa, of yeah, the, for real. He's yeah. kind of the god of the NFL. King, certainly, certainly. ruler, what something, whatever. He he yeah. wields his hand and does whatever he freaking wants. You know, it's probably a good old boy smack on the back. You know, Jerry Jones is up there, Roger Goodell, like, yeah, we'll suspend that boy. And I'm going to tell you what, we'll let him play week one because that's a division game and that's some Giants. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, it's something else. Something else. Yeah. That's a, that's like a, a handshake and a, and a stiff drink kind of deal right yeah, there. Yeah. I, I, I didn't understand that one. It, it was odd that you would see. The suspension's upheld, but he gets to play week one. I, I just don't get it. Division rival, yeah. big game. You're supposed to be punishing him. Man. <laughs> and what's sad is, like, all the all the money that Ezekiel Elliott is wasting, just wasting, all the money that he's not making because he just makes bad decisions. It's yeah. like he doesn't – I mean, you notice he doesn't get a lot of endorsements or anything like that. Dak Prescott's like a stud in Dallas – you know, he's got like billboards and 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 car dealerships. And, yeah, he's, you know, he, yeah, no, he's he's not getting endorsement deals lining up for him. I don't know what he nah, would be endorsing. He's gonna, I guess him and Joey Bosa were uh, were roommates back in college. Oh, I'm sure that was interesting. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Man. NFL, yeah, whatever. All right. Yeah, right. Yeah. NFL against the Raiders. What? Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. Never mind. Oh, I was. I agree, Ryan. Uh, sometimes it's hard for me to keep up with the comments. I do always go back and read them, so please, please don't think anything that you say ever goes unnoticed because it never does. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. It's a lot going on in yeah. here, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just excited about tomorrow. We're going to get some live football. There's going to be some real hitting. I don't care right, about the so team. Whatever. Let me put you on the spot. Who's going to win the game tomorrow? No! Oh! Patriots. At Kansas City. Is it at Kansas City? Hold on. I believe so. I think so, but I'm not 100%. I'm not 100% either. Hold on, hold on. It's in KC. Is it's it? in KC. Okay. Um, Andy Reid has talked about how Alex Smith is his man. And Patrick Mahomes is... You know, he's working man, process. He's, process. Much, he's only got one year. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he knows more about that offense than anyone else on the team outside of Andy Reid. So, I'll give him that. And uh, they're at home. They had that running back go down. Spencer Ware, he's out for how long? I don't know. He's out for a while. He's out for the season. Spencer Ware's yeah. gone. He's torn uh, yeah. PCL, I believe. So. Let's see, no Edelman, but it's, it's, it's Tom Brady. It's be, I think it's going to be an interesting game just to see where gauge where both these teams are at. Playoff teams from last year, division champs, defending champ. Now I'll say Patriots by four. By four? Ooh, you're putting numbers on it. Look at you. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think uh, I think the Patriots are going to win as well. I I think the Patriots will beat the Queefs. I don't. I think I think they they peaked last year. I think I think the Chiefs peaked last year. Completely do. Patriots are favored by seven. No, that's I don't know. Is Kansas City opening weekend? Opening Kansas City Sunday? is. Is a tough place to play on the road. Uh, it is loud yeah. there. Uh, it is loud. It will be freaking loud in week one. It will be really freaking loud in week one. I got um, some family in KC. 
I got some family in KC, so I've seen a Chiefs game or two. And uh, I made the mistake of wearing a Santa Claus outfit, costume, Santa Claus, to a Chiefs game in December with my family. And, uh, yeah, it was the worst idea I ever had. I didn't even have the idea. It was the worst idea I ever agreed to. <laughs> <laughs> was me as Santa at a Kansas City Chiefs game. Who were they playing? I don't even recall. The Raiders. Oh, they're playing the Raiders. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. They're playing the Who won? I got hammered. <laughs> you won. It sounds like you won. Uh, yeah. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Fourth row. Oh, man. That was the winner. <laughs> all right. So, as we do every Wednesday, I step aside. And uh, I give the floor to Prime. And he brings you the Prime Cut. So it's that time of the year again, you know, the air changes, the leaves change colors and all that kind of good stuff. And football is in the air. It's awesome. You know, even around my town, I see guys from the local high schools. And they're uh, promoting their team. I don't know what they're doing. What's up, Hot Neil? You know, and, of course, college football just dominated the, the, the news there last weekend. You had the number one team versus the number three team, which was the best game week one in NCAA history. And... uh that was pretty exciting as Alabama did a whoop up on uh, Florida State, but whatever. It's all it's all minor league to me, and that's how lucky the NFL is. The NFL has an absolutely one hundred percent free farm league, developmental league. Now, what? I'm not a background music kind of dude. All right. Anyway, so. The NFL has a built-in farm league. Baseball has like double A and triple A and quadruple A and, 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 and grapefruit and pineapple and whatnot. They've got more leagues that are all set up and funded by the NFL or by, you know, Major League Baseball than I don't even know what to do with. I, I even go see one in my town that I live in here. Um, basketball, NBA, they've got like the NBDL, you know, the National Basketball Developmental League. That's, of course, funded by the NBA. They also fund the WNBA, but that's a whole other story. Um, even hockey has, like, farm leagues and farm leagues of friggin' hockey teams. So the NFL actually benefits from having a standardized collegiate football program uh, that they really have nothing to do with. They don't have to pay for it. Yes, I do, Hot Neil. Um, they don't have to pay for it. They are fully funded by one of the most corrupt organizations in the country, the NCAA. But anyway, um, yeah. And I think that's just amazing. That's amazing. That's an amazing setup by the NFL, and it's what makes them the premier league in professional inter in sports entertainment right now. Um, absolutely. It's just another one of those things that is so cool. Now, What's really kind of funny is now college football is getting into this playoff. They got a four-team playoff. They call it a Final Four, and I think it's a it's a bunch of crap. They should I don't know. They, they a, bowl games are so silly. I mean, it's cool to have like one bowl game, but you can't have like a thousand bowls. Like no, no, you can't have the the Insight Bowl and the Idaho Potato Bowl and the you know Alabama flim flam bowl. It doesn't matter. Foot, college football is so whack, and I'm sorry if you're a college fan, but nonetheless, they are the free farm league. They develop these players, and right now, like it's even cool to go to a college where they have an NFL uh, style offense, so you can learn how to play in the NFL. Go, man, I don't know. I don't know. Does it get any better than that? I know it's it's better than the NBDL, that's for sure. The salsa bowl, I love a good salsa bowl. If we could get a great guacamole bowl, I would be 
ecstatic. I would be very, very happy with a great big guacamole bowl. Anyway, <laughs> so meanwhile, meanwhile, it was a pretty exciting. I don't know. There were a lot of good games in the college football weekend. We had some Michigan over Florida. Absolutely, it's a big money maker. So why half these schools are, you know, even have money is because of their football programs. It's a whole other story. But, uh, yeah, Michigan and Florida. And Florida had like 10 dudes suspended because of a freaking credit card fraud thing that they had going on. Did you guys hear about that? University of Florida, like 10 players suspended. Seniors, juniors, guys, starters, starters. Uh, yeah, yeah. Suspended for a uh, credit card scandal. Wow. Wow. You know what? They need to start paying these players because – you're right. They're the money maker, and by golly, they should be paid. That's right. They're just professionals waiting to happen, half of them. Not even half of them. Only the elite get to go on to the NFL. But still, yeah. Anyhow, so I know that's not a whole lot of a prime cut right there. But uh, I just thought it was cool because we had our college football weekend, and now we're getting into the pros, and and so we're getting into fall. The season's changing. You know, I'm going to make some chili. My you know? favorite season, football season. It's my favorite yep. season. It's the season. Tis the season. Ha <laughs> ha. There ain't no, there ain't no freaking leaves changing here. <laughs> but yeah, you got like palm trees. They don't do anything uh, except for just stay up there. They just look beautiful and tropical. You drop a All coconut. The All yeah. the time. All the time, except for when you're except riding for, in the storm out. Yeah, except for about to go Lieutenant Dan style, looking straight in the eye. Come on, Irma. Let's dance, baby. Yeah. Are they shutting down anything? Like uh, schools, airports? They're shut down for the next two days. Yes, I hope you're ready too, hot Neil. I hope you're ready. You are, you are much more in the line of fire than I am right now, so I hope you're ready. Hope you've got everybody in your family ready, and uh, you guys are uh, bunkered down for that, because this is this sucker is no joke, man. Irma is no joke, and if you're in the Miami area, which I know you are, Hot Neil, you're down there, South Florida, so uh, make sure you're ready, because she's she's coming down your driveway. <laughs> the truth of the matter is, is I made guacamole earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get guacamole off the damn brain. The hell the hell? <laughs> Where's my guacamole? What, and he's got my chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, so there's some more notable games in week one. Yes, absolutely there are. <laughs> I know there are you're interested in week one. Um, Arizona Detroit's an interesting game. You have Philly and Washington, who's a divisional game. Atlanta, Chicago, Jacksonville, Houston, which is another divisional game. The Jets, Buffalo, which will be battling for the last place division. Tyrod Taylor's been cleared to play. He's off the concussion protocol. Who's that? Oh, Tyron Taylor? Tyron Taylor. Yes, he is going to play. His, yep. His bean, is, his bean is good. His bean is good. They all charge extra for guacamole. They all do. Yes, they do. All the burrito places. They say, do you want guacamole? That'll be avocados extra. Avocados are cheap. <laughs> Man, I'm growing avocado trees, what I'm going to do. Hell yeah. Avocados Hell are yeah. cheap. As soon as we get a little more climate change, it gets a little warmer here. I love Bam. some guacamole, too. I will pay the extra for the guac. Yes, I will. Yes, I'll pay the extra. Yes, I know it's extra. Yes, I want it. Put it on there and don't be skimpy because I'm paying extra for it. Right? A big old spoonful. Yeah. Come on. But the Tennessee That's Titans great. are going to bring, yeah, bring that run game, that. ball control offense to your defense. And I'm really curious to see how that works out. Although I do pick the Raiders to win. 
Yes. I'm um, in the Midwest. Well, you better, or you know, we'll kneecap you. So. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I know. Hey, I I gave him the twelve and four, thirteen and three, something like that. We should. Yes. We yes. Have, you did give us like a next week. We should go back over our picks for, Actually, for the playoffs you did pick and whatnot. Raiders to go to the Super Bowl. I think you just picked them to lose in the Super Bowl. Is what? Yes. But we, you did pick them to go. So because they're young. Because they're young. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited for week one. Unfortunately, due to the possible hurricane, our our festivities may be not quite as festive. We're supposed to have a big tailgate party and everything for week one, but it may be dwindled down now, so we will see. <laughs> you should get a Raiders rain suit. Oh, uh, as long as the bar is open where we, you know, our, but we were going to have an additional big outside tailgate thing, you know, big. And, you know, hopefully they'll do the – hopefully the club will kick that off and do it uh, week two for the home uh, – technically the home opener, so. Yeah. That'd be nice, but – and hopefully it just misses us, but I don't see how it's possible. It's like 500 miles wide or something stupid, so. Yeah, it's huge. Hellstorm 2017. Yeah. Irma. <laughs> Irma. Man. Uh, kind of so, sucks when you get your ass kicked by someone named Irma. Uh, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Right. So, mm. Odell Beckham Jr. is still sitting out. They're saying he's going to uh, play in week one. They're still saying he's mm -hmm. going to play. The angle is okay. I think they're just being precautionary with him. Kind of the same as Mac. It's week yeah. one. You know, they, they practice as much as they're going to practice. You know, just give them, right. let them get help now so they're ready for the no, game. No, established starters. I mean, there's nobody trying. I mean, there's nobody competing for, for Mac's job. There's nobody competing, you know, for Odell Beckham's job. I mean, there are people that may want those jobs, but they're not. They're, it's no contest right now because of they are the players that they are. So... Yeah, they're going to treat them with kid gloves, wear, you know, flip-flops at the practices. It's still summer, practically. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, should be interesting. Should be interesting. I'm, I'm excited. There's there's a lot of good games spread out over this week. Obviously, a, mm -hmm. a lot of people, fancy football going on, too. So, uh, you know, week one's such an exciting time. Such an exciting time. Everybody's zero and zero. Everyone's got a chance. The dream is still alive. For all 32 teams. They're Cleveland fans right now. Like, yes. Yes. You know. Yes. We're tied for first. Cincinnati fans. Like, this is our year. You know. Everybody. Everybody. Zero and zero. Oh and oh. Yep. I mean, I'm excited. I think I think we're going to do well in Tennessee. Um, I I do predict a high scoring game, which is going to bode well for the Silver and Black attack because Derek Carr is my quarterback. So. Oh. Yeah. Well, I do have Marcus Mariota in another league. Yeah. yeah. So I hope it is a shootout. I hope he hooks up with Delaney Walker. <laughs> yep. Delaney Walker is my tight end. Well, I hope he does well for you then. Because <laughs> you're not I'm playing me this week. So I have, you're not, I have, you're not playing me this week. I hate having a guy that my team is playing. Because how the hell can I root for Delaney Walker when he's playing against the Raiders? Now, I also Don't have Jared realize? Cook. I have Jared Cook. Just, so, that, that's been a quandary of mine. I've been thought of because I have I could put Jared Cook in the flex and I could run the two tight ends. So, okay, hold on. I'm not playing you this week. Although, do I? Play you next week? <laughs> huh? I'm, playing, I'm gonna throw it out there. I'm gonna throw it out there to Raider Nation. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some input on. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get some over in input on uh, what they think I should do here. Because I have a conundrum. I'm curious as to what others would think. 
I mean, I, I won't tell anybody what I'm going to do, but I'm curious as to what other people would would uh, would think. All right. So here's how my here's how the league breaks down. Now the position I am looking at is my flex position. Now I've got the basic on, on offense: your quarterback, two running backs, two wide receivers, tight end, and a flex. Now, flex. So time to have. I so I'm, I'm debating on the flex. So it's I've got Darren Sproles at my flex right now, but I have the possibility of putting uh, Derrick Henry. Sterling Shepard or Jared Cook in there over Darren Sproles. So I don't know. I, that's what I'm debating on. You want my opinion? Yes. Sterling Shepard all day. You think? Absolutely. Out of that group, New York Giants line up in more three wide receiver sets than anyone else in the league. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Hmm. Odell Beckham is banged up. It's it's you know. And Brandon Marshall's new. I had Delaney Walker last season, and you know, I when when I'm thinking fantasy football, I try to take my heart out of it. And I realize he's playing the Raiders this week, and I don't want to root for him. But the reality of the matter is, I think that I think it's going to be a high scoring game. Mariota likes throwing it to him, and I think he a possibility he could get a touchdown. It just is what it is, and. Hey man, I haven't that's why I, I that's why I, that's why I am the way I am because of fantasy football. Because when you have five to as many as ten, like some people have fa fantasy football teams, then gosh, man, the only team that really matters is the one you put together. You're just rooting for players anymore. Yeah, yeah. Well, man, I, I don't know how I'll go, but it's it's. It, that's my first conundrum of the season. That's my first conundrum of the season. Right there. So. Yeah. I like, like Sterling Shepard. Football tomorrow. Live football. Finally. We've got a, uh, we've got a full slate of games. you got the Giants, Cowboys, New Orleans, and Minnesota. you got the, the. Right off the bat. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Right off the bat, New Orleans and Minnesota. So, first game, number one, Adrian Peterson is going back to the place where he gave his blood, sweat, and tears. Yes. Wow. They cut him dry because he liked to beat his kid with a switch or something like that. Yeah. Don't be beat your kid. Now, I hope Adrian Peterson runs like, a, like the Adrian of old, man. Wouldn't it just be cool to see? I don't know. He's a great football player. Um yeah, yeah. If he went and did that down there in New Orleans, I'd just be like, wow. You know, and everybody, everyone doubted him. You know, every even right now to this very moment, people are doubting him. They're like, oh, should I? You know, they're drafting Mark Ingram, who's a good back. They're drafting Mark Ingram ahead of Adrian Peterson right now. So, anyway, anyway. Yeah. I can't wait. To, that'll be an interesting game. That's a huge storyline already. Week one goes back to the team that he played for. It's tough. Yes, yeah, interesting game. Um, I'm I'm curious to see if uh, you know some people have Minnesota as being a contender. Some people have them as not. I, I'm curious to see what their identity is this season. Um, well, New Orleans. I'm curious last about year, like too. five and zero. Oh. I know, and it, then they didn't really do much after. But um, yeah, then they went like I don't know, well, below five hundred to miss the playoffs or something like that. And then uh, the Saints. The Saints are an interesting story too. You got Breeze. He, he's getting long in the tooth. Um, you're long bringing in an old running back to play behind Ingram. Play with Ingram behind him. I don't know what they're going to do there. It's hard to tell. They might have two back shotgun set. Who knows? Who knows? It's interesting. It's interesting. I mean, I know Brian's tight ends are not in the league, but man, you cannot say that. Cook is going to get more – Cook is, like, so low on that pecking order. Think about it. You got Amari Cooper. You got uh, the, the, the Crabtree. Then you get the running back. He's hard for me to start. He's hard for me to start until I see something out of him. He's one of those, let me see a game or so. See how yeah. they're going to use – I know how they're going to use Delaney Walker. <laughs> I know how they're going to use Sterling Shepard, too, because he was coming on at the end of last season. Was, but he's had a little bit of an ankle issue in preseason, so 
he's another one only because of that. But he did. I don't know, man. It's such a tough call. It's a tough call, you know. It's just a tough call. It's week one. You don't want to make the wrong call. And I don't Tell me. Playing. <laughs> Tell me. I go and draft Christian McCaffrey. You know, and I'm like, dang, I want to start him week one because I know they're using him all over. I know he's going to line up in a slot. I know he's going to run uh, between the tackles. I know he's going to be, like, um, even returning punts and stuff, man. He is all over the field. But dang. Mm -hmm. Bob agrees with you. Yeah. It's – it's. Yeah, I, I gotta see. I gotta see something from Cook. I, I gotta see how when a new guy comes to a team like that. I haven't seen him play really in a full game with the quarterback and how he mix in. I've got to see how he fits in and how they're gonna use him before I can go run him. Come on, man! It's a silver and black attack. That's my team now. I gotta. You gotta show me something before I go sticking you on the roster. You gotta show me something. <laughs> all right, but I do appreciate all your input. Oh, also your input. Now, we are we are giving all of the teams in the – I don't know if you've noticed this, Prime, because this, this is a little side project. I haven't really added you in, in, but, you know, if you'd like to vote on it, you always have your opportunity. But we are okay. giving all of the NFL teams, minus our own, of course, their, their own little special little Nick, Raider reaction nickname. So – we already have, obviously, the donkeys, the queefs, the sucking ears, um, the chokers, the lambs. Uh, I, I've got the list already. There's a few of them. And last week, we I, we put out some selections and a poll and polled Raider Nation. And we dubbed the, the Seattle NFL franchise and going forth will be forever known as the Rain City Bitch Pigeons. <laughs> That's how they will forever go down now as and be referred to in Raider Reaction as the Donkeys, the Queefs, and, and others have been dubbed. Now, this week, because the Titans give us a bit of a challenge. It's not an easy one to come up with one for. So we have put out a poll. It is pinned at the top of the page. We are asking for ideas. Ideas so that we can create the poll for Saturday. And then we'll run the poll and announce all the way up until game time and announce the official name at game time for the Tennessee franchise, as it will be dubbed on Raider Reaction. So, and going so forth, we will do every team as, as the week goes on. Some will be easy. Some will be interesting. So I look forward to your creative ideas. <laughs> there's already a few up there, and there's some good ones up there too. Oh, there's some good ones up there. <laughs> So, if yeah, you have one, the Bears, what's up? If you have one, feel free to go. go I was just racking my brain right there, and then someone said something about the Bears, and yeah, the Taintons? Ew, that's stinky. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but there's got to be some teams that are going to be really hard, you know, the Rams, you know, uh, the Bears. Single syllable teams are going to be the rough. Rams. We already have the Rams. The Rams are the Lambs. The Lambs. The oh, they're the Lambs. They're the Lambs. Oh, okay, okay. Where are the Bears? I mean, the, the. I don't know. We're going to figure it there's, out. There's already like the Fudge Packers, for instance. Bob, somebody, Bob Billy, somebody had the. Uh, oh, actually, no, it was mine. Um, I had two. Oh, I had the. Uh, uh, the Tennessee Tit Babies. <laughs> Did you just say what I think you said? I may have. It may have. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, it's a common use slang term. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. And, yeah, one of them. And, and who, Tennessee who would I be? Hey, we just voted in the Rain City Bitch Pigeons last week. So if Raider Nation speaks, Raider Nation speaks, who am I to stand the way of democracy? Who am I? I just, hey, I just put it out there. The Tennessee Bulls. Sure. <laughs> Please, 
he's officially, you have to go on the poll to cast your comments. And all the Raider Reaction admins, we're going to get together and we'll pick our what we think are like our best five or six are, and then we'll throw them out there to you guys to vote. So be creative. Because <laughs> the Tennessee, I always refer to them as the Retread Oilers. That's what I commonly refer to them as. They're the Retread Oilers yeah. to me. Yeah, yeah. And that's what they are. I don't know. I don't know. Tennessee. Tennessee. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if I'm too good at coming up with nicknames for all the teams. I mean, the Washington Redskins. You know, the New York Jets. The, the what? the Nah, I got nothing. I oh, got I already nothing. seen some. I've already done some research. And, see, a lot of people have already come up with these. So, you know, it's, it's not that hard. It's just a matter of us voting on which one we want to end up using. So it's, All right, what about, like, I mean, the Miami Dolphins. I mean, the Dolphins. The, the, the yeah. What are they, gutterfish? I don't know. <laughs> you watch. The Seahawks ended up the Rain City Bitch Pigeons. You watch. Yeah, that's true. Rain City Bitch Pigeons is, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Magic can happen, Prime. Believe. Believe. I, I always believe. I always believe. Come on. Believe in the if, if anyone believes in magic, it's me, you know. <laughs> believe in magic. All right. Woo. That's in it. a young girl's Post. heart. This week, Prime will be back on Monday, and we will have a ton of freaking football to talk about. Football, Hello, real football. football. We'll break down games. Oh, oh my, God. my God. Oh, my gosh. Monday Night Football yeah. will actually be going on, and you can watch football and listen to us at the same time, and we can talk about football while you're watching football. What? So much damn football, you won't know what to freaking do. You're, oh, football is back. Yes. Football. <laughs> And Prime will be back on Monday, and we'll break it all down. Tomorrow, our jam-packed Thursday, there's going to be a game going on. We got Chiefs. We got the Queefs. Cheatriots. Tomorrow. Field open up. Swallow them all. Hope for, you know, I don't know, man. It's two teams I hate bad, and I need both of them to lose. Both of them losing is good for the Raiders, so I don't know. I kind of wish. I, I don't know. I mean, this this is one I, I, I just, uh. but football is here. It's close. So tomorrow, we have NorCal Raider Rick on for the Raider Nation Ricochet. JP, our college football guru, will be on to break down college football action from last weekend and what's coming up. Plus, T. Wells finally going to own up. And pay his preseason bet with his speech on the greatest of the silver and black. On Franchise Face Off to close out the show. So lots of action tomorrow. Plus Friday, we'll be back to bring you the second half of the 2002 AFC Championship game every freaking play. So, two more solid nights. Plus, late night Thursday, the after hours on One Nation Live. All kinds of freshness still. Plus live football. Oh, yeah. It's here, finally. That's what I'm talking about. I'm out. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate any second you spend on Raider Reaction, as always. I'm out. Peace. Love. Raider Nation.